What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss everything going on here in our country that you need to know about here on a daily basis. And Congress, there's a lot going on here in Congress. The House of Representatives passes a major bill here, and they're considering another major bill here as the country is literally reeling here on several major issues. Uh, let's jump right in here because... These are the issues that you want to know about here. We'll jump right in here. Okay, first up, the House of Representatives is moving towards a vote on an assault weapons ban. Here's what President Biden has to say. Check this out. And assault, weapons need to, assault weapons need to be banned. They were banned. I led the fight in 1994. Then under pressure from the NRA and the gun manufacturers and others, that ban was lifted in 2004. I'm determined to ban these weapons again and high-capacity magazines that hold 30 rounds and that let mass shooters fire hundreds of bullets in a matter of minutes. This comes as new footage from the Uvalde, Texas shooting has been revealed that showed the police officers waited in the hallway for 77 minutes before engaging the shooter while the children just sat in there with the shooter and died. And died, and um, the, the 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 Texas Police Department there under severe criticism. Even the Texas governor under severe criticism for inaction, inaction. And I'll let you hear here from a Texas state senator saying that the truth must be heard. Here's a Texas state senator uh, saying that this is not what needs to happen. Let me know your thoughts here on this. Here we go. And what grade did you just finish? Fourth. So tell me about what happened at the end of your school year. Why, why are you here today? Um, so we can uh, ban weapons now. And why is that so important? So no one has to go through what I've gone through at school. That's a 10-year-old survivor of the massacre in Uvalde, Texas. The community now demanding answers after a disturbing video from inside Robb Elementary School was edited and released by the Austin American Statesman in KVUE. Here's how Governor Greg Abbott responded when he was asked about the video. Obviously, it's disgusting uh, to see what happened. It's clear that what was shown on the video was the exact opposite of the information that I was given on the day that I went out and explained what happened uh, during the event. None of the information that was in that video was shared with me on that day. And so it was shocking. Shocking. With us tonight to discuss Texas State Senator Roland Gutierrez. His district includes Uvalde. Thank you so much for being here. I know what a brutal last two months you have had. Help me understand this. The governor is saying he is shocked, he's disgusted by what he saw in that video. It's the opposite of what he was told that day. He's the governor of Texas. Why didn't he see this video any time over the last seven weeks? I would think he or any other official in the state should have seen that day, too. No, that's right, Stephanie. Um, I saw snippets of it when I wanted to see all of it. I was asked to sign an NDA, and I refused. Uh, my constituents wanted to see the truth, they wanted to know the truth, and they wanted to do it in the right way. And so I ended up filing a lawsuit against the Department of Public Safety. Greg Abbott is ignorant because he wants to be. He doesn't want to know the truth. He actually does know it. He hasn't been back to Uvalde since day three. Never went to one single funeral. I don't think that he cares enough about the kids of Texas because he has failed to call a special session to bring us back and end, put an end to having 18-year-olds have access to these types of weapons. He refuses to do that. I, I need to interrupt you. You wanted to see a video. You're an elected official. Uvalde is in your district. You wanted to see a video of what happened inside that school, and they asked you to sign an NDA? What was the rationale? Yeah, it's the state that we're living in here in Texas. It's, this is the kind of stuff that happens in Venezuela. It happens in Russia. And unfortunately, it happens here in Texas. The facts are, the reason I saw three minutes of a video is because I barged into a DPS trailer 
had an argument with one of their PIOs. As I walked out, I saw about three minutes of a different video. The video I saw was closer to the room that this man had sheltered himself in. And as he fired out to the police, you could see construction material, sheetrock flying in over their heads. They've not shown you that video because they don't want people to see the awesome power, the fearful, horrible power of these AR-15s. We saw all sorts of props in these investigations and in these hearings in the Senate and in the House of Representatives, but we never saw an AR-15 because they don't want to be having that discussion, Stephanie. So what information are these families getting? If you, an elected official, can't get information, what are the mothers and fathers, what are they being told? Uh, Half-truths, innuendo, finger pointing. This is the worst response in law enforcement history in our modern times in the state of Texas. Absolutely. The fact is there was 12 DPS troopers, even in the video, that made for TV video, we don't see those 12 troopers. The only reason that came out was because I cross-examined Steve McCraw as to that during his testimony in the Senate. This is where we're so at. Where are we this is the kind of government we're dealing with in Texas. So where are we going to go from here? Are they going to, are, are police going to face any consequences? Is, is this current Texas government going to face any consequences or, or not if they, if they keep getting reelected? You no, know, that's the unfortunate thing. It's my hope that, Stephanie, that people finally get tired of this. They finally get tired of the neglect. And as I've done my own investigations, you'll start to see very soon that in Texas, there are many things that led up to this massacre including the fact that Greg Abbott knew about the failed radios. The other thing that was important about that video is that everybody was on their cell phones. They were on their cell phones because the radio systems didn't work. The governor's known that for seven years, and he's been asked for money to fix those radio systems for seven counties, and he has refused. This is a story those of kids, neglect. Those kids just went to school that day with two days left in the year. Senator, thank you for joining us tonight. I really appreciate it. Yeah, so there you go. You have a Texas state senator from Uvalde. Uvalde is, or Uvalde is in his district saying that half-truths are being told, cover-ups are being had, that they're not showing a lot of the footage, he got to see the footage or some of the footage, and they wanted him to sign an NDA to not disclose, not disclose what he would have seen. And then that this is what the world has come to, or this is what his state has come to. Let me know if you're from Texas. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, even if you're not from Texas. Do you think that this is right? That the truth is being hidden from the world, hidden from us, hidden from Americans, hidden from Texans? Um, and that we're not being shown the truth. Do we deserve to be shown the truth? Do we deserve to be? It's just unbelievable, right? This is just unbelievable. And why? Why? Why are we not being shown everything? It it, it definitely makes you wonder here. He mentions even the governor hasn't been, didn't go to any of the funerals, but he didn't have time. He didn't have time to show up there past day three. He's too busy. I mean, this is national news. Like, this is being covered every day. I don't know. You let me know your thoughts in the comments. But, um, yeah, my wife, here, come here and say it again. I said I can't even imagine what the people that edited the video weren't comfortable showing. If they were, you know, okay with or had to show the guy standing there for 77 minutes and doing nothing, I almost feel like it would be better to show because... No, they're hiding. Imagine what they're hiding. But everyone now can can imagine the worst case scenario no. because they're not showing. They can't imagine. You, you only... There, there's a saying here that you only know what they tell you. You only know what they tell you. I know, but when you leave things open to interpretation... Most people aren't even thinking about that. 
Uh, most people are thinking they waited 77 minutes. That's what most people are thinking. Most people aren't even fathoming. Maybe a few are. Maybe a few are, but the masses aren't. Imagine what they're not even showing us. And I'm not talking like the violent stuff. That's fine. We don't need to see that. But um, Imagine if we could. And I'm not saying I, I want to see it, or but I mean, imagine. You know what? It's like maybe maybe people need to see it because then they would really, truly realize. Yeah. Yeah, what are, what are these weapons made for? What's the purpose of these assault weapons that the House is moving towards a vote on banning here, potentially here within the next week? And you almost got to wonder here, I know that fate works in strange ways. Fate works in strange ways. Um, you know, and, 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 and God, uh, you know, rest their souls. But um, maybe this was meant to be at, in, in, a, in a terrible way. Um, but think about, you know, how long it's taken for this type of stuff to happen. Maybe it'll happen. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts here. And uh, also, also going on here right now, the House of Representatives also just passed a bill to protect abortion access following row reversal. Yeah, just here today. You can see it here in the headline. House passes bill to protect abortion access Following row reversal. I know a lot of people are on different sides of the fence here, um, but here is just what happened. Here is the details on this. The House of Representatives on Friday passed two bills aimed at protection, protecting abortion access, access to abortion, marking the chamber's first legislative attempts at safeguarding the procedure after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade last month. The bill, called the Women's Health Protective Protection Act, passed in a 219 to 210 vote, clearing the House for a second time in the past year. The lower chamber previously approved the measure in the September, but it was twice blocked in the Senate. Uh, note that at the 219 to 210, uh, though that number will be very important. Texas Representative Henley Kular was the only Democrat to vote against the bill. All the Republicans present voted against it. So not a single Republican voted for it. One Democrat voted against it. He opposed the measure when it was brought up previously in September. He is from Texas. The legislation seeks to ensure that people have access to abortion na nationwide by codifying the right to the medical procedure into federal law. Federal law. The measure, however, will likely face headwinds in the Senate because it would have to pass the Senate as well. Senate Republicans and Democratic Senator Joe Manchin blocked the bill in February and May when it was brought up for consideration. 60 votes would be needed to overcome a legislative filibuster. The House passed a second bill titled Ensuring Access to Abortion. This one got more votes in a 223 to 205 vote. In this one, three Republicans supported the measure, including Republican Adam Kinzinger, Brian Fitzpatrick from Pennsylvania, and Fred Upton from Michigan. Kuehler also voted in favor of the measure as well uh, from Texas. So you can see the difference in the voting there, 223 to 205. Both passed in the House, but would need to pass in the Senate would be the more important one. The legislation protects women who travel to another state to receive an abortion if their home state prohibits the medical procedure. 
Um, right now, this is legal, but they're kind of looking into the future in case Republicans block this in the future and maybe um, make it illegal nationwide if Republicans maybe take over the House and Senate or something like that in the future. In states where abortion is lawful, the bill seeks to make it illegal for facilities to limit access to the medical procedure for individuals who arrived from out of state. Additionally, the measure includes a provision to protect people who assist others in receiving an abortion in a state where they do not reside. It also shields the state-to-state -state transportation of abortion drugs that have received approval from the FDA. And remember, the FDA is not Republican or Democrat or partisan. You know, they've been around for many, many years. Republican leadership recommended that members of the GOP conference vote against both bills, according to GOP congressional aid. During the debate on the House floor Friday, Representative Judy Chu from California said the Women's Health Protection Act, which she sponsored, will help preserve protections in Roe. She says, quote, you will hear Republicans say our bill goes too far, but that's simply not true. Our bill preserves the protections of Roe that we've lived with for 50 years, affirmed through decades of subsequent court decisions. A number of Democrats in arguing for the bill referenced a just very recent example of a 10-year-old rape victim from Ohio who had to travel to Indiana to receive an abortion because of strict laws against the medical procedure in Ohio that was just passed, which wouldn't even let her receive an abortion even though she was a rape victim and even though she was 10 years old. So there are states that have already passed abortion laws that will not allow it for even girls who are 10 years old or who have been rape victims. Yeah. So this is just so people know this. Uh, in the Buckeye State, the Ohio State, Representative uh, Earl Blumenauer described the girl's ordeal as, quote, barbaric. Meanwhile, the president just signed a presidential executive order here a few days ago that says doctors must offer abortion if the mom's life is at risk. And um, this is in effect right now through a presidential executive order. Um, and this is in, in, in effect right now to try to save you know, mom's lives, um, if their life is at risk, among some other things here, like uh, abortion drugs, if if needed. Texas Governor um, Greg Abbott is suing the Biden administration over guidance directed at reproductive care for emergency room patients and says, even if the woman's life, life is at risk, they don't want to offer abortions. So even if the woman would die, they don't care. They, they don't want to offer it at all, even if the woman's life is at risk. So they're actually suing the Biden administration over this executive order. So I'll keep up to date on this. There's going to be a lot of legal battles over the gun rights, the abortion rights, the women's choice, the there's a lot of things going on here in Congress right now. Yeah, these are two of the major, major issues going into the next midterm elections, along with inflation, cost of living going crazy here, and uh, the war in Russia, which uh, it just seems like it's not going to end anytime soon, to put it uh, lightly, to put it lightly. So let me know your thoughts here in the comments. I'll keep you up to date here with everything going on here in our country. So make sure to subscribe down below to our YouTube channel. Uh, it's completely free to do so. Just click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on new videos. And then click the bell icon so you get notifications when we go live with new videos, which is every day here at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will keep you up to date here with everything you need to know about. You can click here to see what Mitch McConnell just did. You won't believe that. Or you can click here to see what states are getting stimulus checks 
There's over 20 of them, and I'll keep you up to date here with that as well. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.